Welcome, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid, which means for you, you could be watching this. It could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. So let us see what is going on here for Sag. Okay. Well, that's gorgeous. Okay. Under the deck here, it does say not today, which says not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, person, boundaries, or still angry. So somebody is setting some kind of very clear boundaries with some people who maybe aren't um, supportive of your relationship or your connection. Sorry, let me just adjust this camera. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. And then we have Cupid's arrow here, which says have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. Then we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other, and abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. But like I said, with that not today energy, it gives me that impression or that feeling that maybe some people, you or this person or both of you don't want to be dealing with right now. Maybe people trying to come between you. All right, so let's take a look and see what is going on here, please, for the collective Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on here for our Sagittarius, please, Spirit? What is going on here for our Sagittarius? All right, your energy, okay? Your person's energy. What is between you, the obstacle or the challenge, their thoughts about you, their feelings, their intentions and actions, okay? Under the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. We also see the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Sun. Here we have strong Leo energy, Aries, Sagittarius, very strong Leo. Also Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, it truly could be anything that you're dealing with, but the the very prominent energy that's really coming through is very strong fire and air. And what I feel like here is there are people who are trying to create issues between you and this person. Now, depending on when you're viewing this, I'm filming this in November, but again, it could resonate for any time. But around this time, for a lot of you, you could be experiencing a lot of like conflict around ho the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, that kind of thing. Because Five of Wands does talk about like, arguments, conflict, fighting, somebody trying to stir drama. And it's like, I just don't want to deal with this. You know, it's like, we're moving on. Let us be happy. Stop trying to interfere. And this actually could start to cause issues between you and this person because of the tension that is there. Like if they won't set really clear boundaries with their family, who's trying to come between the two of you or vice versa. And then with their energy, with that five of swords, it's like they've walked away and tried to distance themselves. Now, it may hurt them to do this. For some of you, there could be like a very overbearing, like maternal, like motherly energy or like ex-partner or some kind of family member that is like very um, opinionated or something, like very hard-headed. They don't want to change they want to have some kind of element of control maybe they're just bitter and don't they're not happy themselves so they try to meddle in people's relationships that's what i feel like and i think that it's start it's going to start causing a wedge between you and this person so be careful here like it is very 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 important that you both are on the same page that there's a lot of open and honest communication here in their energy with five of swords like i said they've walked away from a situation tried to distance themselves by even putting people in their place Okay, now this could be really, this could be extremely specific. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? I cannot stress that enough. I mean, there, this is for the Sagittarius Collective, but there could be hundreds, if not thousands of you who tune in and watch this reading. So for each of you, it could resonate a little bit differently. But they're showing me a very clear scene of someone is saying, listen, like as it, as it, it could be reversed, okay? But however this resonates for you, like let's say that you tell this person, I really hate the way that your mother talks to me. And they say, all right, I'll put her in her place. And they tell that person, listen, I don't want you talking to my wife, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, whoever. I don't want you talking to my person this way. You know, and so they, you know, tell Bob, you know, Uncle Bob and Carla and whoever. They tell all these people off and tell them, you know, you're going to stop doing this. You know, leave so and such alone. And, you know, they're like, all right, see, I did. I told them, you know, and then they still keep on with it. And they're like, I don't know what you want me to do. I've already told them to stop. 
and you're frustrated because they're continuously picking at you, they're not listening, they're not being respectful. Do you get what I'm saying? For some of you, that could be the case. And I think it could definitely cause a wedge or an issue here around the holidays and stuff like that for some of you. So just be careful with that because I feel like you need this person to stand up for you and for your relationship. And there's people who are like relentless, like they, d they don't stop. And so it's like you can't, you just can't deal with them. And it's definitely really hard, maybe even really emotional because somebody may feel like they can't spend time with their family. And it's not a comfortable place to be in, but at the same time, it's like they have to kind of put you first. Though they love these people, they can't tolerate like the disrespect toward them and you and your relationship. What's between you? Again, I think some of you, there could be some harsh words said here. Because it's like you're just asking them to please stand up for you, stand up for this relationship, to not let these people kind of walk all over you or create this tension or hostility and fight and drama and gossip and whatever this is. This feels very heavy. It's, I mean, it's hard because I think that you see, you understand this person's perspective. Like they don't want to like lose these people in their life, but at the same time, it's like they have to, they're, they're not, they're, no matter what this person says to them, they're not going to magically start being respectful. And, and, you know, you hate it, but sometimes you have to distance yourself from those kind of people. But they're saying, for some of you, there's going to be an opportunity for you guys to actually kind of get away or have some kind of space or distance here that actually could really help your relationship a lot. Um, so it's really about communication. The obstacle here is this person's having to kind of choose a side, which again, like I said, it's not, you don't ever want your person to be in that position where they have to choose between you or their family. But at the same time, it's like if they can't respect you, I mean, that's their loss. When this person thinks about you, they do think of you as someone who is really strong. Somebody who has really tried to tolerate, you know, this behavior, this family, this environment. You know, but you also know your worth and you don't, you're not going to let somebody walk all over you. They see you as someone very capable and brave and you inspire them. You've been through a lot. You've endured a lot. You know, you have never given up on this relationship, no matter how difficult things have gotten. You're someone very, very secure in yourself. And so they see you and there could even be a little bit of jealousy here because they see you as somebody who doesn't care what other people think about you. You know, of course you want to, you know, not upset people and you're kind and considerate, but at the same time, you're not going to let somebody walk all over you. And so for them, they may be a bit of a people pleaser. They may have a hard time setting boundaries. And with you, sometimes it's easy, you know, or they, or they see it that way. What they feel, well, they're worried. They're in, they're feeling a bit insecure because nine of swords, they are concerned that maybe they have done something that they cannot repair, that they cannot fix with you. But like I said, they're saying keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. And they are very grateful for you and they do want to express that to you. This is somebody who sees it all with you, but there definitely has been a bit of a challenge here. And I think they have allowed other people to kind of come in between the two of you and interfere and meddle and cause drama. But there's such a beautiful energy here with abundance between you and this person and enjoying each other, playfulness, laughter. You know, get away from these toxic people. Set those boundaries. Have faith. Love is coming. It'll move forward. This person, like I said, their intention is to pursue you, to kind of stand in their confidence, male or female. Queen of Wands is often about, like, getting your power back. You know, so they may want to kind of even embody like some of your traits and some of your characteristics and learn from you and watching you and how you interact, how you carry yourself, how you protect yourself, how you stand up for yourself, you know. And as far as like actions with the fool, this is about taking risk, taking chance and moving forward. There could be some people like maybe a bitter ex or something that's very jealous, but this is taking a leap of faith, taking a jump together, moving forward. What do you need to know about this situation? For Sagittarius. Okay. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So like I said, for some of you, there could be some kind of upcoming trip or holiday. Sometimes it's even just like spending time together. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from a usual type of expectation. There can be a lot of similarities between you and this person, but also differences. But sometimes these differences can complement each other very well and actually allow you both to learn so much from each other, like in a way that you inspire this person. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. It is time for this person to put the past behind them and any negative opinions, gossip, feedback. For some of you, I don't know why this is coming through, but like 
somebody, somebody could be like really upset that they have left a situation. It, it doesn't matter if it was eight years ago, eight months ago, three weeks ago. It doesn't matter. Somebody could be really upset because they had grown attached or maybe they actually liked their past person or something. Um, it was familiar. It was comfortable. And now it's awkward for them, which, again, it's, it's not about them. You know what I mean? And so they don't like the fact that they've moved on with someone new or that you've moved on with someone new. And so there's like this bitterness or this resentment here because of that. For some of you too, there could be like someone they have children with and this person is upset. They didn't really let go or something. They're creating conflict or drama or even trying to cause issues when it comes to children. Your love life is being affected by children. They could be using children as like a weapon or leverage in a situation to kind of cause issues between the two of you. Um, if there are no children involved, for some of you, that children card doesn't always talk about like physical children. It can talk about like childish behavior, somebody very immature, very emotionally unstable. You know, this is somebody who can like gaslight and manipulate and say things to hurt a person or get under their skin or make them feel guilty or hold on to them or, you know, so this can be like, and it doesn't matter when I say childish behavior, it doesn't matter if this person's 25 years old or 83 years old. It doesn't matter. Do you get what I'm saying? So I think that this is an issue when it comes like family toxicity, they want to have some kind of control and they are using whatever they can to kind of create some kind of drama because I think their end game is trying to break you up. But you and this person are going to be spending, there may be a rough patch here, but you and this person are going to be getting away, spending some time together, setting boundaries, distancing yourself. Like I say, I do feel like there could be some kind of uncomfortable conversations between you and this person, you know, during all of this. But it's like you actually come back stronger because of it. It's like when you're actually able to kind of have like these meaningful deep talks about everything, it's like your relationship is even stronger. Do you get what I mean? And again, I'm not justifying fighting or any misunderstandings etc but i'm just telling you what i see so that's what i have for you guys thank you again so much for watching thank you for liking sharing and subscribing as always i wish you strength and many blessings